on Broadway. It was on Broadway in Kansas City. <laughs> so I have been on Broadway <laughs> for 11 years. I worked 11 years, five days a night. Five days a night, yeah. Five nights a week, no. Five nights a week, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it boggles me when I think of that. <laughs> and we sang all the wonderful jazzy Kansas City music that they wanted to hear. And years ago, RCA came and they said, we'll do all these songs that you used to do. And this is not one of them. I was trying to see that and I thought that's not right. Is it? I love this intro. I have often walked down this street before, but the pavement always reached up beneath my feet.
wonderful song, and, and, and here's a little backstory that you may or may not know. As Marilyn mentioned, it has a lyric by Johnny Mercer, but unlike most songs uh, in the Gay American Songbook where the melody and the lyric were written more or less simultaneously by, by either a, you know, a pair of collaborators or one person writing both the music and lyrics, this one existed for several years as an instrumental song before Johnny put the lyric to it. And how Johnny came to put the lyric to it was that he was driving down the Pacific Coast Highway one night and listening to a jazz radio station. And this song, an instrumental version of this song, went, played over the air. And he liked it so much that he pulled over to like a gas station, this is of course before cell phones, put a nickel in a payphone, called the uh, radio station and asked what was this song they were playing. And the music was written by the vibraphonist Lionel Hampton. And so Johnny got the permission to put the lyric to this, and the result is a really beautiful song, both words and music. Your lips were like a red and ruby chalice, warmer than the summer. Each cloud was like an alabaster palace rising to a snowy height. Each star, its own aurora borrowed Alice. Suddenly you held me tight. I could see the midnight sun. Come rain, 
Ted and I have been working together, is it 15? 15 years. Only with that long relationship. And you do things like that at office God. He's really kind of brilliant, you know. Feel 
girls with jealousy when they see you out with me. Well, I don't think the girls will You're my, my honeysuckle. When you're passing by, flowers droop and sigh. Yeah, I know the reasons why you're much sweeter heaven knows. You're my honey, so, so good, so good, so good. I can do it again. So good. Touch my cup, oh, you're my dad. It's so sweet when you stir it up. When I'm taking sips from your tasty lips. i 
with the flow. I could bear it without you. Don't get around it anymore. Thought I'd visit the club. Home. And, 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 
with, well, they'll be here. But along with, I don't know, how many musicians? Um, seven years. Or, uh, the, full, the full Steve Reinecke uh, New York Pops Orchestra. Is it? So it's my concert. I've been there several times, once for a uh, uh, 70th birthday. Was it 80th? Who's counting? I try to move back. I'm older than that. But it was, uh, uh, it was someone's birthday. <laughs> it's 80th birthday. And uh, what did I sing? I sang, um, I'm still here. And then, uh, and I am. And then, uh, but then also, then they called us later on, and it was with a bunch of other people. And, but I had the 11 o'clock number, and uh, the audience loved it. They love him, you know. And uh, so he came back for his uh, acknowledgement of celebrating his birthday, and we stood maybe this far away. And, and I did get, uh, get to go back for a second bow, and the audience was so appreciative. So I thought he'd have glowing words for what I had just done, because the audience loved it. And he stood over there and he said, congratulations, and that was it. <laughs> so then they called us back to do Frank Lesser. And with, with Lesser, all the songs that he wrote are, are more. Should we do Joey? Just for a minute. <laughs> This, this shows the kids. Like a perfect woman. Why did I say I do this? I haven't done this for so long. <laughs> <laughs> the wind blows at the bunkhouse. Like a perfume woman. Smelling of where she has been. Smelling of Oregon cherries. Or maybe Texas avocados, or Arizona sugar beets. You better come like a perfume woman. The wind sings to him, cause he's one of her rambling kids. She sings.
do that one, of course, with the full orchestra. That's going to be, whoa, is that going to be fun? And um, we'll do a whole concert with them. And, and uh, it's March 24th. There are uh, 2,500 or 2,600 seats. So please go buy your tickets. <laughs> right now. Somebody called me and said, I can get tickets up close, but not, not two in, in a row. Can you do something about that? Nothing. I can do nothing. So I'll be glad in two rows. Because it's kind of a small place. I've gone all my life without doing part of it all, but God knows I've practiced enough. So. They call you Lady Luck. But there is room for doubt. At times you have a very unladylike way of running out. You're on this date with me. The pickings have been lush. And so before this evening is over, you might give me the brush. You might forget your manners. You might forget to stay. And so the best that I can do is pray. Let me a lady tonight. Let me a lady tonight. Lord, if you've never been a lady to begin with, let me a lady tonight. Don't let a gentleman see how nice a day you can be. I've seen other guys you've been with.
be good, for goodness sake. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout. I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, he's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty, who's nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. Roll the rug up on the 
only way to to don't tell mama <laughs> is today. Thank <laughs> you. 